Hi, I'm Rebecca Yates, Product Manager for Telehandlers here at JCD. And today we are going to do a JCD autocomplete interview about common telehandler questions. So let's get started. First, what does a telehandler do on a job site? So a telehandler is a piece of material handling equipment. Um, you know, it really does a pretty simple job, um, but it's a very important one. So it's really moving material from point A to point B, but point B sometimes is 42 feet in the air. So you always need a piece of equipment that's really gonna be able to put material anywhere. What types of jobs would a customer use a telehandler for? So for a telehandler, again, because you can move material and that's its main purpose, it, it really can be used anywhere. And it is a piece of equipment that is one of the first on the job site and one of the last to leave because there's always something to be moved or a truck unloaded. So you want to be able to put brick or pallets up by up on scaffolding where the workers are or again unloading trucks making sure that material is getting to where it needs to be used um, and for people that may ask about moving material that would use a bucket like gravel or mulch a lift and place telehandler i wouldn't generally recommend to use a bucket um, just because of the design. However, at JCD, we have a set of telehandlers, our tool carrier line, that really can use, it's really versatile, can use forks and a bucket. So that's something that you may want to check out as well. So what types of customers or contractors use a telehandler? Again, this is one of those really versatile machines that just about anyone can use. Most common may be a general contractor, maybe a landscaper or a roofer. It could even be somebody who is working um, on a wind farm or a solar farm where they're putting out panels. So uh, telehandlers really can uh, be used in so many different places. So you'll probably get a lot of interesting applications. Next. What questions should we ask to make sure a telehandler is the right fit? So for a telehandler, the two main questions are going to be about the max capacity, the max weight of the material that you're lifting, and at what height that you need that material placed. So if you think about scaffolding, you know, if it's a couple stories up, is there a sidewalk or some other um, obstacle that you need to reach over? So it's really important not only to ask how heavy something is, but also where it's being placed because every telehandler is going to have a load chart and a load chart in the machine tells the operator how much the machine can lift at, at, at any given point. So you always want to make sure you're asking a couple questions about your customer's application to make sure that you get the right machine. Load charts are in each machine and are also available on a, like a spec sheet. So if you needed to look it up, they're easily accessible, usually on a website or in a piece of literature. Next, what other names does a telehandler go by? So a telehandler can be called a, a variable reach forklift, a material handler, just a straight out forklift. Uh, sometimes we're even called like a shooting boom. Uh, anything that's got um, a boom that extends. And at JCB, you might hear them call a load off. Lastly, what machine could I use instead of an 8K forklift? So sometimes a customer will ask you for a specific size telehandler. Maybe it's 8,000 pounds in capacity, and maybe that's not something that's readily available. So you'll want to ask, um, again, about the application. You can always give them a larger size telehandler. So maybe a 10,000 or a 12,000 pound capacity would suit their application. You could also think about a rough terrain forklift or a straight mass forklift. They are really good pieces of equipment. So if you're unloading trucks, if that's the application versus a telehandler, it just might be another option that you um, can offer. So I hope that that's answered some of your questions about telehandlers. Uh, if you have any other questions or looking for more information, please visit our website at jcd.com.